Hey guys, it's Neil from the Schoolbusters, and what we're going to do today is going to show you how to unlock a conflict dog tag. So if you load up uh, Swasson, uh, get yourself an empty server, uh, take yourself over to the main building in the middle of the map. So if you're spawning on the German side, you're closer to the, the task, and there's a bit of Morse code from the previous dog tag, and it's from JJJU and his team who create these Easter eggs. Just giving us an indication that it is on this map. Another thing that I'll do is sign up to the Battlefield Discord app. And this is where you can get loads of help. If you're struggling with uh, any questions or anything like that, this is the place to come. Uh, there's loads of guides, links and everything. Um, the, without these guys, uh, we wouldn't be able to solve all these puzzles. So all credit goes to these guys. Uh, amazing bunch of people definitely worth signing up to so let's get started what you need to do is come inside the building um, I'd suggest coming and support that's the next the first thing and it's just basically level all the the walls uh, so that you can you need a good look all the way through the building um, that's that's a definite thing that you need to do so you can just keep re resupplying yourself with uh, limpet charges uh, next thing to do is shoot all the lights. That's all wall, ceiling, and candlesticks. You need to take all them out. Every one of them. So if you see it, yeah, I, I mellowed mine. I think you can limp it charge these as well. But yeah, I just mellowed them. Uh, and there was one left that I missed. And once you've done them, you should hear the funny noise that's giving you the indication that you're ready to move on to the next step so if you load up this website while you're trying to solve the candlestick holders um, and have it handy because you'll need it to input the numbers um, so it, it, this website gives you the location per number so one two three four five six seven because that's how many candlesticks there is and you need to input the numbers into this website and it'll give you your unique code so this one's number one number two number three is here this one there is number four and that's number five number six is here just near this door and the last one it's just the oh, new number one that's number seven so what's important is you've got to always interact with number one so you interact with that it then gives you a sequence what you need to go doing is going round and making a note of which lights have come on so one two and three are off four's off five's on six is on and what we need to do is input that into that website so five comma six it's important that you put your commas separate them and then click submit and then repeat the process click interact with number one go through again looking which candlesticks are, are on so this one is number six only so Again, repeat the process. Website, put number six in. You've only got a limited time doing this, by the way, so you, it's worth doing. So, again, interact with number one. Number one's on this time, number two's on. Three isn't. So, it's one, two, six. One, two, six is on. So, we input that code in. to the website interact again so now this time it's number two number three number six two three six so you need to input that code like I say this will be unique for yourself so I'm just showing you my uh, point of view so you can see for yourself how to do it 
So again, interact with number one, go round, so number two's on. Number six and number seven. Interact with that one and put the code in, two, six, seven. Make sure, like I say, make sure you put them commas in because if you make a mistake, you've got to do it all over again. You've got to do all this in one go. So interact again. Two, four, seven. Just double check. Yeah, two, four, seven. So we put that code again. we've only got seven on so you just input this one and this is the last one once you've inputted the last one it'll give you your unique code it's important that you only interact with them candlesticks you don't have to interact with number one but this instance mine is one three five so it's important that you do that sequence only so I've done one three and five So only click the ones that it tells you to do on the last one and then you should hear a funny spooky noise that then tells you then that you've done we're on to the next stage final stage so if you take yourself outside and bring yourself over to the statue if you come out north that's where the statue is and you'll find that there's a load of sandbags located around on the steps also the wall panels are interactable you can interact with them so if you press uh, two of them you will find that if you go back inside a light has appeared so what do we need to do so if you go back to the sandbags a user on the battlefield easter egg community uh, called Donny figured out that these sandbags are actually a key so the locations on the steps will be your unique key to lighten up the correct tiles on the floor inside the room that will then trigger the dog tag so there's a couple of ways uh, or a couple of guides that you could use to help you uh, there's a spreadsheet that the Easter Egg community have come up with to make it easier to work out me personally I preferred using this printout because of it being labeled A to H and 1 to 8 uh, so you could easily cross reference from one to the other so from the sandbags to the, the floor lights um, so it was just a matter of trying to work out and figure out the panels on the outside what order they go in in terms of the floor lights inside the building because when you do your 8 by 8 grid on the floor it, they don't go in order 1 to 16 they'll be stagnated throughout so that's why you need to turn your lights uh, on and off by interacting with two panels so that you can work out which column is number one let's say or which row because that's what you've got to work out so what I would suggest doing is is marking out like I've done here the floor where the 8x8 eight eight grid is so then it's easier for you to look at when doing it and seeing the lights as you can see here it makes and make sure you stand that way when looking at it the grid you've got to face west or you'll get confused basically so if you start by marking out your position of the sandbags on the diagram and then cross reference it to the other diagram for the floor lights you then need to start working out uh, the panels uh, the numbers in which order they go for the floor panels so 
if we say we, we press uh, panel one and then change the numbers so like on mine there I've, I've changed it to uh, press one and two one and three one and six and then I done for example six and nine and three and twelve and you can see that that row is number one and off there is number two the column down is number three and so on and once you start doing stuff like that you can start you know filling in the pieces so in other words you start clicking more panels and then you're starting to fill up the um, the numbers in which order like I say this is my unique key so for yourself it'll be completely different some might be a little bit the same but most of the time it'll be different so like I say it's best to stick with one number so like I say I stuck with number one and work through and then like I say you'll get a lot of assumptions so then once you've done that you've got your numbers it's a matter of putting your key in and that's the lights that you need to light up on the floor so when once you've done your numbers around the top and around the sides 1 to 16 and you've marked off your key on your diagram it's then a matter of switching on on the floor the, the the lights basically and then once you've done that you'll know when you've done it. I'll show you now so what I've done is when I, as well if you saw there I shot the one that I know I need to light up that's another tip for you so I knew which one I was you know which one I was lighting up so I marked it in other words I shot it see there look so I know exactly so that uh, so that one for me was 1 and 12 I think or 2 and 12 sorry so like I say on the last panel you know you've done it because this happens sinister and spooky sound I think so if you check your medals you'll find that you've unlocked a conflict dog tag equip it equip that bad boy and then show it off guys please feel free to leave us some feedback some comments we don't we can help you out as much as you can uh, don't forget to hit that like button and we'll see you next time